hello capricorn how are you guys i'm hoping you're doing well thank you so much for joining me we're gonna go ahead and do love reading for the rest of september this is regarding the person that you have in mind so again if you're not interested in anyone and you don't want to know this is not your spread i've already completed the monthlies if you have not watched that maybe that can answer some of your questions all right so let's see capricorn what's going on with your love interest for september 2020 there will be an extended for those that are interested in the description box below all right so let's see we will see how they feel towards you action how they view you what they find challenging about you we will see as well what they love best about you what are their hopes what they don't like best about you their true intentions where are you both are currently in the best possible outcome for september all right that's the five shuffles you don't have to remember that just like to say before i do the spread one more please capricorn sun moon rising and venus and the person that they have in mind all right, so we have passion here with the Ace of Wands, chemistry, a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. The Page of Swords, this Page of Swords is coming a lot lately. I feel like there's a lot of watching, a lot of wanting to learn, uh, communication, the messenger here. But overall, I feel like researching and keeping tabs. And the Queen of Swords, wow. I think the Page of Swords and Queen of Swords is very much uh, the person that is watching or that is being watched. But the Queen of Swords is coming as very detached. She's not playing. She wants information. She or he, whoever you are. I feel like it's, uh, it's coming a little bit as uh, cold in that uh, direction. But let's see what's going on. So the first card will be their feelings towards you. And they have the Ten of Cups. Capricorn so they have uh, happiness they have emotional bliss they they see you as again the one that will make them happy this is nice when it comes to feelings the ten of cups Piscean energy by the way so they want um, the happy ever after <clears throat> they want the contentment and the satisfaction when it comes to you it's a dreamland what about their action they're coming with regrets with loss Mars in Scorpio, a lot of water, right? Piscean and Scorpio. Do they feel like they lost you? And that's why they have the Ten of Cups, they're dreaming. That's how they're coming towards you. They might come and apologize here or they can hold still uh, to those regrets. Uh, farewell. How they view you. Oh my goodness, Capricorn, who are you dealing with? The Three of Swords. No wonder they have the regret. They view you as heartbroken. Did you cause the heartbreak? Did they cause the heartbreak towards you? Again, it, it will depend on who's watching here. But definitely there is some separation, some heartbreak, regrets, and love as well here with the Ten of Cups. All right, so why? What is the challenge? The Empress. We're talking about love. For some of you, it may be a mother figure here that is coming as a, as a challenge, but I think it has to do with unconditional love. Interesting. Who is not acknowledging? Look at this, both positive, and then we have these two negatives um, when it comes to actions and views. Temperance can be at times very selfish energy. Someone also here, as I mentioned, it can be a mother figure for, uh, for others. It can be that someone cannot express, you know, their Venus, their satisfaction, their love, their pleasure here. This is the challenge, opening up. We'll see when we clarify why such a beautiful card is coming as a challenging position here. What they love best about you. The high priestess attitude, okay, the subconscious, the intuition that you share, the inner knowing, Piscean energy again, but they love the high priestess. Again, it's something deeper with you. It's a higher connection with you. Uh, and that's what they love best. Interesting. Okay, 
So we will see what are their hopes when it comes to this connection. We have the King of Pentacles. Now, if this is you as a King of Pentacles, they want you in this situation. It's very simple. Earth element. If you are dealing with another Earth sign or someone here that is all about security, remember this can be very earthy uh, element as well, unless we're dealing also with the Libra. But overall, with the King of Pentacles, security, uh, we're talking about wealth, we're talking about establishment, sensuality, um, pleasure, earth elements, after all, have that sensuality to them. But this is what they're hoping for. They're hoping for the King of Pentacles. What they don't like best about you, the Seven of Swords. Have you been escaping? Have you been hiding? Both it's the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords can be very secretive and very elusive, not tangible energy here. But that's what they don't like best about you. You're putting a mask on or you're just uh, not opening up. Very elusive energy, very futile energy. In a way, they like that mysticism about you, but that you are unreachable or hiding. They don't like that. What are the true intentions? Oh, Page of Cups. Love, Page of Cups is very much another Piscean energy. So again, guys, I'm not getting a lot of wands. And I have to say, lately I've not gotten for all of the collective here a lot of fire. It's been about emotions here and regrets. But uh, they definitely want to open up here. They want uh, for some here to apologize with the Page of Cups. For someone, for you to express your feelings. For you to open up as well. Uh, I like the Page of Cups because it's pure. It's uh, It can be naive at times, but their intentions here are not something that you should worry about. Even if the Three of Swords here, it's coming as heartbreak and separation, or they view you as the heartbroken one. There's definitely love here. Offering the cup. A message of love. Where are you both at? This will tell me where you're both at. The Queen of Wands attitude. Okay, so I said we don't have wands and there she goes, he or she. But this is what both of you are mutually at. Now, for some of you, the Queen of Wands represents here the bold, attractive, uh, very much entrepreneurial energy, boss attitude. But we're talking attraction with the, with the Queen of Wands. We're talking passion. That's what she represents, unless, again, with the Three of Swords, there's someone else here. I don't see that though. I see mostly again the attractiveness that they have. We'll see. Wow. So what is the best possible outcome? Judgment. So we are definitely talking here about a return, a comeback. Forgiveness. Remember the page of cups. I want to see when we clarify why we have that. There's going to be a return. A gift, a token as well with judgment, a sign from the above, a call. Literally, it can be a calling. Someone calling here. But definitely there's a comeback. All right, so we're going to clarify, get a little bit more here of what's going on. We know they want to express love. They do see you as the one with that Ten of Cups. Or well, they've been dreaming, but there's a lot of regrets here and heartbreak. Right, let's do five shuffles and start. One more. have the ace of wands before i believe we did the ace of wands again a new passion a new return oh my goodness look at the judgment there's going to be something restored here and the knight of wands prince of wands here positive movement a restoration of love it's coming here all right so we have the ten of cups as feelings let's see what's more the Knight of Swords, okay, so they want to come forward here, express their love, open up, tell you how much they care when it comes to you. They want it, they want it to be the next level. 
So this is nice. Then I do see the Knight of Swords as very impulsive, but with a combination there of the Ten of Cups, it's regarding feelings. So you're good in that aspect. So we have Venus in Cancer, how they're coming towards you as regretful. Again, the Two of Cups, look at this beautiful combination here. They do feel you are the one Capricorn. You are the other half here. Again, this is mostly for people that have gone through a lot of heartbreak with this individual. They are regretful and they want the connection. They feel the emotional loss when it comes to this perfect combination, this union. Now, why do they view you as the Three of Swords? Okay. The Fool tells me that there needs to be a new beginning. Trust can be an issue here. Are you having trust issues? Are they having trust issues uh, starting here, taking that leap of faith? I will say because they have regret or emotional loss, it may be, you know, in this situation that they are afraid to start over here because of the heartbreak. Why is the Empress challenging here? Oh my goodness, okay. The High Priestess. Now remember, I said that the High Priestess is what they love best about you. This combination, both very feminine energy as a challenging, but the Empress, as I uh, mentioned here, is mostly about the earthly pleasures here. Uh, it can be, again, a mother figure for some of you, but overall, I feel like the unavailable. Here, I want more. I do appreciate the inner connection, the subconscious here, and again, the telepathy here that we have, but I need, you know, as well, that earthiness, that pleasure, that nurturing, that comfort, uh, the tangibility here, which they feel, again, they don't get it at the moment from you. You are being elusive to them, or they cannot reach you uh, in this instance. So both feminine, but it's again, someone not opening up to uh, Venus energy. It's containing it. I cannot have you as well here. Why they love best uh, the High Priestess about you? Page of Pentacles. This is nice because it tells me as well with the Page of Pentacles, it's, it's that heart to heart conversation. Is that knowing when it comes again to what do I need to learn? What do I need? Gifted. It's that very much gifted energy. We have the earthiness now with the Page of Pentacles, but it's coming in the process of the High Priestess. Again, High Priestess, as I mentioned, can be very secretive, it's very subconscious, but you know that that earthiness to you, you connect on a spiritual level as well. And they like it. It's a little bit contradiction with them, right? They have emotions, they like that best part about you, but at the same time, they feel like they cannot connect with you because uh, of, again, not being available to them. Or not tangible but it's very gifted energy here um, with that Pisces and earthiness energy so why the king of Pentacles they're hoping for five of wands okay there's been a lot of misunderstanding are they hoping here that you're gonna fight for them in this situation there's tension misunderstandings so we're talking again about winning here Remember that Ace of Wands that we had before, the passion. So who's struggling to come forward? That's what they're hoping for. There's been tension, release of tension. Um, if you are being elusive here to come forward, whatever has to you know, be released, they're hoping the King of Pentacles will be able to provide that. But there's a lot of misunderstanding here and challenges. All right, so they don't like best about you, the Seven of Swords with the Nine of Wands. Uh, they feel that you are not only elusive here, but at the same time apprehensive, guarded, resistant. Building a high wall, escaping it as the, at the same time. Not standing your ground when it comes again. I feel like they, they really don't know where you are with that. And again, this combination, if this is you, they they don't they feel like again you guys kind of compete or uh, misunderstand each other. Okay, so their true intentions is expression of love, reconciliation, 
happy uh, we have uh, by the way an another cancer energy mercury in cancer which is about celebration and coming together they hope that someone will express their feelings here and there's going to be understanding between each other happy thoughts happy news this is what they want this is what their intentions are messages for the one that uh, are not talking with each other again coming in together why the queen of wands <laughs> All right, so the Queen of Wands is coming with the Empress, which remember that was the challenge here, Capricorn. Now, both represent pleasure. The Queen of Wands, both there's no uh, shyness here. It's two people enjoying each other, two people wanting more, two people wanting passion, not shying away from this passion. That's where you both are at. Okay, Capricorn, whoever you're dealing with, and remember their intentions are to open up and reconcile and send you that message of love here or in the other and their their intentions are that you to open up remember there this person does feel regretful but i really like this combination because this is saying there's going to be a message of love here there's going to be a calling there's going to be a return there's going to be an apology here for some of you here and forgiveness it's a very very beautiful combination uh you have a good reading for september capricorn uh, Jupiter is going to it's in um, Capricorn right now and it's going to go direct has been retrograding on September 12th uh, there's a lot of earth element Virgo um, Sun as well there he's helping you so take advantage of this opportunity that is coming the best possible situation is that you guys are going to be together I hope this does resonate with you thank you so much in the extended we will just look at how you both mirror each other thank you bye-bye